All right, what is up everyone? Here we are with the Gazarius decks. We've taken, we looked at the top three most played Gazarius decks and we have taken the off meta ones. So the first one we have here is Gren Shatterer. We're gonna be playing this one first and then next part of the video we'll have this sweet mutant chuggy no laser deck with Banshee. Pretty wild deck right there. Both of these are a little, I mean, like I said, these were the most off meta, so pretty wild decks. So we're going to start with this GDI one, this Shatterer Grenadier Shock Trooper deck. This has three anti infantry units Shock Dog and Shatterer. Three, two, and we're really relying heavily on Grens to be our anti vehicle, which is uh, also an awkward spot to be in because Grens are pretty bad. So I'll pass it down here. See what opponent's up to. Harvester, Harvester. Okay. Great start. Barracks opening. You've guessed wrong, sir. Maybe. Let's see if he goes laser or flame. Mutant. Flamer, you have guessed incorrectly, my friend. It was, in fact, a war factory opening, and your flamers are useless. Now, I'm assuming we're going to see air tower laser drone pretty quickly here. Bikes, interesting, not laser drone. I really expected laser drone there. Well, we'll just block this guy out pretty easily. So, first missile, no problems there. This is not a good cane map either. I'm gonna move this dog down so he can't 2v1 my pit bull. So we're gonna take like three missiles. Mutant Marauder, okay, I guess we're gonna shot. That was meant to be a shot trooper, but instead I built a grand. I guess Gren can go and stand in the front line whilst we wait for the shock trooper to arrive. Another mutant, that's uh, certainly an aggressive option. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna be mean, so I'm just not gonna say anything about this game. Not I'm not entirely on board with my opponent's deck, I'll be honest. I think I think there are some holes in his deck. I think there's some issues with his choices of deck. Mission accomplished. I wouldn't have played that deck. You know what? It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, Maverick. What is up, Pablo? Ooh, rifle opening before Harvester. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I guess we should go second dog against rifle opening. Although it's been so long since he's built another unit that I don't think he's going... He's clearly not going to go laser. He's going to make a... Oh, a mutant. Well, that still makes the second dog not great. Let's back up and get the shocks. Use the dogs to clean up the rifles so they don't contest the shocks at all. And then we'll go Pitbull for these bikes. Could go Gren, but it's a little overpriced at the moment. Like, I don't want to sink all my money into a Grenadier squad when I don't know what his next unit's going to be. Okay, looks like a pretty solid first missile. Get this guy involved again. Ooh, okay, Chuggy. Sure, so it's Mutant Chuggy basically. Uh, Shatterer should be decent here because it lets us kill the laser without having to interact with the Chuggy, which is what we really want. So we'll get Shatterer and park it up front. What's in the air tower? Is it Hammerhead? Yeah, okay, so we don't want that right now. Actually, Gren should be okay here. Well, the, the problem with Gren is Gren should be decent against Chuggy decks, but it's just so bad. Like, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So it doesn't really beat Chuggy is the problem. Like, Gren should be a way to beat Chuggy the way that Mutant is, but it kind of isn't. We're going to double Gren, though, so that'll get him. Nice. There it is. Double Gren. Opponent wasn't ready for it. Feels good, man. Three. 
A new pretty. But like what? <laughs> A new pretty what? So weird. Uh, I see a harvester and nothing else. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter what my opponent makes because this deck is so mighty, so well formed. It's like, uh, you know, like whatever he makes, we're going to have a clear and concise answer for it immediately. We've got a second pit bull against his pit bull. I want to try and 2v1 him. I'm also going to back out so he starts shooting my dogs. Okay. Get the 2v1. Go for another 2v1. Retreat the damage one. Guess we just keep making pit bulls if he's making pit bulls. Like we're already winning the pit bull mirror. Need to watch out for something like jump jet. Don't boost the pit bull. I don't think that does anything. We should fire the missile. Oh, not quite. Oh, rip. <laughs> Punk. I didn't think the boosted unit was going to kill my pit bull in time. I thought it was going to fire just before his pit bull killed mine. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Alright, time to switch into shocks. That was obviously user error. There's, there's nothing, no, no, no fault can be found with the deck. Just user error there. Overconfident. I mis misread the situation. Alright, we've got the shocks now. We've got the shocks on the pit bulls. Here comes snipers. Okay, we can walk up to them, I think. Okay, good job, shocks. Instead of stopping in this tile, you decide to go down and left. <laughs> Just walk up to the sniper and then go down and left instead of killing it. I like it. Good stuff. Good choices all around. I guess we can get a Gren. He's gonna have to go snipers again. We'll get some more shots in preparation. Checking if he's double half, he is. We're gonna close the game out. Come on, shots, go up, my guys, go up. It's not that hard to figure out. There's a tech lab. I assume it's gonna be Wolverine, because it's always Wolverine. Kodiak. Okay, well I didn't see that one coming. We do have hammerhead, so that shouldn't be a problem. Curious what his plan is with this Kodiak. Looks like it's going for my car. No, he's just saying it's the back pad. Alright, well. I hope it was worth it, man. I hope it was worth going all that double half to get that Kodiak out. Literally didn't fire a single shot before it was dead. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective received. Harvest. Forgotten what my opening unit is dog, right? Yeah, it's dog. Building online. Unit ready. This map is a bit a bit rubbish, I think. Didn't put his harvester down here. There's gonna come a time when this Tiberium spot will empty and then his harvester is gonna have to travel like four tiles before he makes money again. It's less of a big deal if you go double half, but if you're single half it matters a lot on this map to move the harvester. It does make it a little bit easier to attack, though, so, you know, swing the roundabout. Alright, we're going to get shocks for this. Keep the pit bull nearby to kill dog. Could be a pretty straightforward missile here. There's an orca. We could go hammerhead. I think I will. It's gonna go for maximum brute force option here. I feel clean up the talent as well. That's so pretty good. We have pit bull and boost. He's gonna win against our pit bull with a boost. Or I guess we can go Gren. I'm mean, gonna actually get these shots down to the bottom because that missile is gonna kill everything down there. Oh, 
I just gotta hammer head up. I think I've messed up here. The shock isn't gonna arrive in time. Oh, well, he actually didn't block it, which is weird. I don't know why he boosted the missile. This one over here. Probably gonna send an orca top, so I'm leaving two pit bulls up there. It went dogs, I guess it couldn't afford orca. In fact, you see there, the harvester just moved, so that's why he's out of money. The harvester just had to move from up here down here, which is what I was talking about at the start of the game. But now he doesn't have income whilst he's doing that, which is why he's going missiles and dogs instead of orca and talon. Because he ran out of money because he had to move his harvester, which is because he didn't move it at the start. That's what happens, man. That's why you got to move your harvest at the start on this map. I don't want to move into this mass of missile troopers. I'm even going to retreat this pit bull, I think. I'd rather keep it around. I don't have that much money. I can't just afford to spew. I do want to kill his harvester, though. I do have quite an expensive deck. The, uh, the extra Tiberium would be pretty helpful. Killed the orca before it shot me, so it was a good man. Fresh orca, we have a lot of cash though. We can definitely make hammerheads and shots. Again, he didn't get a shot off with the orca. We've got a lot of spare cash, so we can afford to use some random boosts. Looking like we're pretty dominant right now. These dogs aren't going to be a problem. We've got Hammerhead bottom. Yeah, this is this one. This one should be over. Alright. Easy claps. Easy claps. You are victorious. Alright, last one with the almighty Gazarius deck. Is there any way we don't get 5-0 with such a deck? Garadu also has fallen into the trap of leaving his harvester in the default spot. Double dog should be able to take care of this. Go for a third dog because our shots are quite expensive. And we'll go into shops as our fourth unit. And we're looking to trade off these dogs for uh, for missile troopers. Because the missile troopers have more value than the dogs as we go forwards. He is not killing my dogs though. Which is super annoying. There we go, just one. Let's get Pitbull. And we're gonna basically be doing Pitbull and uh, Pitbull in shots for a bit. He used two missiles there, so he can't finish this Pitbull. I'm gonna boost to make sure I chase down the Orca. I'll try and chase it down at least. Nice, we got it, that's huge. And the Pitbull bottom, shots should have top covered. Oh, all right, cool, no problem there. And we're basically just like Pitbull shock is our, is our dream combination. We'll let him kill one of the pit bulls and then try and run it down with the other. He's gonna send the harvester all the way down here. He's gonna lose a ton of money doing it. We can just follow and keep pressuring. Perhaps he's spamming missiles means he's probably pretty low on cash. Like he's just making missiles and drones that cost 20 because he can't really afford anything else. I'm making this shatterer just to diversify a little. I can probably can go hammerhead. We're actually like super rich right now. I'll move the harv as well. 
This is kind of a complete shrackening mode. Kind of just like absolutely dominated this map. All right, no surprises there. The almighty Giza deck. Five wins, zero losses. Very comfortable. No big deal. <sighs> there it is, chat. The meta Gazarius deck. <laughs> In all reality, I wouldn't really play Shatterer or Gren uh, pretty much ever. But, you know, there they are. You can missiles 1v1 a Kodiak. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Kodiak kills a missile trooper per shot. So I think Kodiak wins pretty easily 1v1 against missile troops. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time for the Nod Gizarius deck. Get hyped.